Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. We did a video about making the desk. Now we're going to start making the drawers. Doesn't that look like a pile of drawers? This is going to be a lot of fun. So today we'll be looking at the rough sketch as well as cutting all the stock out of the lumber and getting ready to build this thing. Let's dive in. Here we have the desk here, and this is going to show you what it will look like with the, the desk. I want it to be very open so you can see all the joinery and everything in there. It also makes it much easier to then look inside of each of these and see what is inside. Uh, mine will actually have the dresser sitting, or the, the drawers sitting right in the middle, so I can sit on one side and my wife sits on the other. And then we have a trash basket over here and other storage over here. Um, and this way the two of us can work side by side, but it's easily movable so you can put it to whichever side you want or on the end and uh, fit it however you want in there. A little closer look at the desk drawers themselves. This is just the, the rough sketch of it. Um, I'm still working on the plans and the plans will be available when the, the project is done. Um, rather than having this um, geometric shape for the handle, I'm probably going to make it rounded to match the curvature of these. Um, I want to kind of keep that idea, but this is just the, the rough holder in here. Also, I know I'll have a lot of questions about the dovetails being backwards. Oh no, what did I do? Um, no, these are called show tails, um, and they're on this way because I want to show the tails. Um, is that going to make them weaker? Technically, maybe a little bit, but functionally, no. Um, I actually have done this for quite a few other things, and they've held up perfectly over the years. Uh, if you really want to, you can actually put in pins, which I'll probably do as a, a detail, um, putting in a brass pin through the middle, um, uh, the middle pin in to the drawer which will give you the mechanical advantage of it. Um, also here you can see the open groove that will be uh, closed um, but for the sake of the sketch and drawing it just quicker to draw that in. Uh, these slides here are actually attached to the back leg and the front so the drawers will run in and out on stopped grooves and the drawer will then be supported by it. So that way all the drawers can come out as far as they need to. Um, I had a lot of people ask me about that, why they would just slide in this. No, the, the slides actually stay put. Uh, the drawer will, will slide in and out on there. All of the drawers are dovetailed together and the frame is a very very basic open frame here so you can see how it all comes together in this way. It's, it's relatively simple but designed to match the structure of the desk. I really like the open design on this and it'll allow me to look inside and very quickly identify what's in them. Each of the drawers are of a different size. The bottom one is the largest at 8 inches, the middle are 6 inches, and the top one is actually going to have an electrical box in the back of it so I can put my cell phone in here and charge it in the drawer. And that's very important for me because when I'm working at the desk I want to put my cell phone into the drawer and forget about it. Um, and that way I can have the charging in there and it's not on the counter reminding me of things going on. So to do that, you can see on this top drawer, it doesn't go quite back as far. There'll actually be an electrical box that gets plugged in here. This is from a company called Docking Drawer. I'll leave a link to them down below, um, but I'll be putting that in here, and it'll have an actual electrical outlet, so I'd have my 110 as well as four um, higher voltage USB ports so I can charge all of my electric devices in here and all my headphones and things like that, which will be, that's, that's something I really want in my, my desk. I don't want them on top of the desk. I want them in the drawer. I want them out of the way. And so I'll be able to charge them inside this. And so that will all be in the, the plans eventually. So this is the, the basic design. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of like it. I'd love to hear your ideas, your thoughts on it. And I'll probably be making some changes. That's why the, um, the, the actual designs are not out and available right now as I'll be making some changes as they go along. So now that we have our cut list here, we can go about tearing all of this down into uh, pieces for the for the build itself. Uh, this is white oak. I have a pile of it. A while ago, I got a, a supply of over 400 board feet of white oak, and it is my all-time favorite wood to work with. It is it's an incredibly difficult wood to work with. It is not easy. It is not simple, um, but the benefit of it and the color is just it's something you can't beat. So I'm basically going through and trying to figure out what boards can come out of where, how long, how wide wide, where do they need to come out, and then I can rough cut them down. Uh, this board was uh, rough planed to three-quarter thickness. It's actually slightly over three-quarter thickness so that when I um, do the, the final smoothing and detailing of it, it brings it down to three-quarter. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier. I didn't have to go through and actually um, plane all the stock down. Now most of these boards are around the three to four inch wide, but some of them are up to eight inches wide. And then on the drawer fronts, I also have some quarter sawn stock. 
So now that we've laid all this out, we've marked them uh, on the cut list. I have them all numbered one through, I think it was 18 in different types and sizes. And on each board, then I write on it the number that corresponds with the cut list. I'm going to be using a buck saw here. Uh, this is one of my favorites for just doing rough cutting. It just it goes very, very quickly. It's designed for cutting logs, but when I don't really care about being exact length, I don't care about being really close to the line. I'm just getting these boards close to their final. The buck saw does the trick, and you can see how fast it goes down through here. There's some of that quarter saw on that will become the drawer front. So now we have cut them all to length. Now we need to cut them all to their width. To do that, we need a good reference edge. And for that, I'm going to use a scrub plane on some of them, but most of them are close enough to true that I can just come in with a regular plane and clean up one edge. Once I have that one edge cleaned up straight, true, and 90 degrees, I can mark off with my panel gauge or marking gauge, draw the line all the way along it, and then take it over to the saw bench and rip it down. Oh yeah, white oak. Um, it's not easy, it's not quick, but it is very rewarding. And this is a great way to learn. When you just got a whole bunch of it to do, buckle down and do the work, and you will learn how to saw very, very quickly. It won't be perfect in the beginning, but eventually it will. Once that's done, we can take it back over to the bench and clean off the saw marks and bring it back down right onto that line we drew with the panel gauge or marking gauge, getting it close. You're just waiting until that line disappears. Ooh, happiness. Smooth and clean. And there we go. We've got our stock all ready to work and start to do our joinery. All these boards are a little bit long, but the next time we're going to start making the bent arch. Oh, yeah. Happy. So there you have it. We got a pile of wood. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm playing with some old design elements that I've used in the past as well as some new things, trying to match the new design into the desk and bring it all together as one cohesive piece so it's not two pieces of furniture put together, but one set that's designed together. This was a lot of work. Um, as stock removal really is, this is a, 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 just one of those things where you just got to buckle down and do it and get it all done. But now that it's all here, we can actually get into the joinery. So next week we'll be starting on bending the frame for it, hopefully making the the side legs and uh, we'll be marching through this. So I'm looking forward to this project and we're going to be having a lot of fun with this. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You'll see them all scrolling over here on the side and really these patrons over here are who are keeping Wood by Right going. Uh, without these patrons we would not be here so thank you for that. So if you see any of them in real life say thank you and I'm looking forward to doing a hangout with you actually later today. So I think that'll do it for now and until next time have a wonderful day. That's the weirdest looking set of drawers I've ever seen.